I have with me today Ian Galloway, who is the director of the Free Church Track at Cranmer Hall in Durham. Some of you will know Ian in that way. Uh, others will have come across Ian in his long ministry in Newcastle. Uh, but you know, probably don't know too much about who Ian is, so I'm going to ask Ian to briefly introduce himself to us. Thank you, John. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I came to the Northeast in 1977 to study medicine at Newcastle University. But in my third year, God called me to ministry. And we went to live in Baika, where I worked for the United Reformed Church part time. And I worked for the Anglican Church as a, a chaplain at St. Nick's Hospital in Gosforth. And it was into that context that, that God spoke to us about his plan to, for us to start a new church. I didn't even know you could start a new church, but that was clearly what God wanted. And just with six friends, we started what's now become City Church, a, a community of hundreds and hundreds of people and serving right across the Northeast. That's great. I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned the six friends that you started the church with, because that's a reminder to us how God can take that which is small and make so much more of it as we trust him and walk his way. And also that you mentioned uh, the Anglican and the historic Free Church of URC and uh, the Free Church of um, City Church. And all that brings you to be the director of the Free Church Track. So what is a Free Church Track? It's, um, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing, John, because basically all the resources of Cramner Hall, which have been training church leaders for over 100, 100 years, are available to every church now. So we train people for church leadership, for ministry leadership from Baptist churches, uh, Pentecostal churches, Brethren churches, the new churches, and um, all that kind of academic resource that's available in, in Durham. Durham University is a world-class place. Um, it's brought together with the with being able to do ministry experience in the local church in the Northeast and get those two talking to each other. Uh, which is the best way to develop, you know, a fruitful church leader, somebody who's grown a lot of experience in ministry, but also has grown in theology and learning about leadership and all those kind of things and bringing those together. So that's what I do. Um, I, I teach leadership. I run discipleship and mentoring groups. You know, we're, we're, we're keen to develop the whole person to become an effective church leader or ministry leader in the north. That sounds to me that you've settled well into this role. Uh, you started last September. Uh, just looking back over this brief time, and I realise the pandemic has been there, but what's been the most encouraging feature for you over these last seven or eight months? It is a, it's, it's a fantastic role to have, you know, after having led a church for 33 years in the North to now be helping other, you know, new and emerging leaders. It's just, I feel such a privilege. Um, I think the wonderful thing is seeing the community grow. So we've got 18 students um, on the free church track from many, many different backgrounds. And yet they're, they're really getting on together. They're learning from each other as well as from the tutors and that sense of camaraderie for you know, he, being called to the North and being called to serve God's people in the North. That's just been a fantastic thing to see. So being called to serve God's people in the North, I mean, it's, it seems like you've gone from being a pastor to being an academic stuck in a college. Uh, can you still serve yourself? Are, are there ways in which you can be a blessing across the patch? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. So in, part of my role is to serve churches in in the northeast you know I'm, I'm available for all kinds of, of things I, I can come and preach uh, I could do leadership training days if you've got a group of people who you want to develop I could do retreats um, actually I, before I started this role I've, I, I wrote a book which is being published by Hodder at the end of May it's a book that immerses you into the gospel of John and it's it, it, it enables you to deepen your relationship with Jesus. So I've got, that. there's all kinds of things going on. And, and if I can be of service, then, then, you know, please, that would be wonderful. If you've got people in the church who are sensing a call to leadership and you want them to talk to somebody or explore that in more depth, then obviously that I'd be a, a great person for them to talk to. So, you know, a local church could invite you to come and do a, a leader's day or a church day. Would you be willing to, to 
walk with the church for a period of weeks or months offering a course at all? Yes, yes. One of the things we're thinking about is doing the Growing Leaders course. I know that um, several Baptist churches have done that in the region, but it's a it's a wonderful course that enables anyone who's, you know, stepping into leadership, either in the church or maybe even, you know, in their, in their workplace, who wants to look more at, you know, how did Jesus lead? How do I lead as a follower of Jesus? How can I be equipped and skilled? Um, it's it's one evening a month and one day in across a whole year so you do 11 evenings and one day in the year we're, we're hoping to start that in September so if, if there are churches or people who want to to join that then then that would be absolutely marvelous uh, there's a direct plug for September but there are other opportunities that you could offer to our churches so for folk listening to this we'd want to say to you here's Ian he's a resource in the academic world of Cranmer Hall, but is a resource also for our churches to help us, uh, to help us in our understanding of God, to help us be better equipped to serve God. And uh, there is Ian waiting to get your telephone call or your email. Uh, Ian, any any final word before we uh, draw this to a close? Yes, I th- having stepped into this space of training leaders, you know, the next generation of leaders for the churches, I. It, it it's really come home to me how all of us need to take responsibility for that. You know, every church community needs to be thinking who are the next generation of people that God is calling. And then by working together in the way that we are, um, we can, we can really help those people to grow and become the kind of leaders and shepherds that, that, that can lead the church well. But it's a set, it's that taking responsibility together that I'm, I'm, I'm really keen to see grow because if we if we don't then we're going to run out aren't we we need to see people in their 20s and in the 30s and you know maybe even in their 40s hearing God's call to shepherd his people and, and I you know I'd, I'd love to see that become very widespread across all the churches and I love the, the image of the shepherding his people because the good shepherd who is the over shepherd Jesus Christ the shepherd who came to seek and save the lost and, yeah. and for me, being a shepherd, being a pastor, is not just looking after the flock in front of you, but is reaching out to the flock yet to be gained. So, yes. Ian, thank you so much, and God bless you in your ministry, and uh, look forward to hearing encouraging things in the years to come. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much.